So uh, in this tutorial, we are going to solve some questions under Newton's laws of motion. I have a number of questions under Newton's laws of motion for this tutorial sheet. So <clears throat> just follow me, I will be able to solve almost all of them and I will be able to, to, to post the videos. So the first question is saying, a bag of cement uh, of weight 3.5 Newton hangs from three wires as suggested in the figure one two of the wire makes an angle of 60 degrees and 25 degrees with the horizontal if the system is in equilibrium find the tension t1 t2 and t3 of, uh, in the wire now here <clears throat> i'm going to explain the concept of static equilibrium when something is at equilibrium meaning the summation of all the forces in x direction, when you add them, they should give you zero. And the summation of all the forces in y direction, when you add them, they should give you zero. That is the condition of static equilibrium. Okay? Something is at equilibrium. It's not moving. Now, the diagram which we, ha we, we, have be uh, we have been given here, and the question, the interesting question which we have right now, is demanding us to find T1, T2, and T T3. Now, I'm going to uh, divide this into three, two parts, okay? So, I'm going to cut here. We have been told that the weight of this bag, it is basically 325 newtons. So, I'm going to get this as the weight of the bag, as the bag, meaning the weight is there, 25. Then there is tension, which is T3. That is the first part. So, Avo. I've cut for the first part, I'm going to cut there. The second part, I'm going to get this part. Okay? So, the second part, I'm going to be dealing with this. And this here, then I'll go there. So, I'll be dealing with T3, T1, well, that's T2, and T, uh, T1. Now, one thing, guys, you should know is that when we're talking about these angles, this part here, it makes Z. Meaning that this angle here is basically the same as the angle which is going to be there. So, I'm going to get that angle to be here as theta 2. Then this part here, it will be the same. It will be as theta 1. But remember, it is Z, so this is going to be theta 1. But remember, one thing we have to remember is that this is T1. It's a vector, so you have got a vector which is going in that direction as T. Then this one, we have now Tx and Ty. So even this one is going to be T2x. This will be T2y. This will be T1x. This will be T2y. Done. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is um, I'm going now to start now uh, to solve for T3. T3 is going to be easy because I know that using just the bag, I'll be able to find T3, of which I can just do direct. It's going to give me, I'll say, the summation of forces in Y direction. What do we have? We have got T3 pointing upward, carrying positive minus the weight force which is 325 newtons so I'll just say 325 but we say that the condition for this object to be at equilibrium the summation of the forces has to be zero so this will be replaced with zero t3 minus 325 shift 325 to the other side it will be 325 to be equal to 3 t3 meaning that my t3 is basically 325. Now that I have my T3, it will be easy for me to find T1 and T2. So I'll get rid of this. So I'll start with the forces in X direction. The summation of all the forces in X direction, when I add them, they should give me zero. So I have got T2 pointing, it is going in this direction, pointing positive X axis, minus, because this is pointing to the negative side, I'll say this is T2, T1x. But the summation is zero. So this 
should be replaced by zero. Now, according to Sokatoa, or if I take you back to vectors, Tx is T sine theta. So this is going to be T2 is cos, sorry. I have this. Let me just take you back a bit. So I have T, this is theta, and this is Tx, this is Ty. So it's going to be, this Ty is going to be opposite using Sokatoa. So it is t sine theta. So meaning x is t cos theta. So it is t2 cos which theta are we talking about? Theta 2. Okay. Minus, I'll say t1 cos theta 1. Now I can plug in the values or I can shift t1 to the other side. So it will be t1. But what is theta 1? Theta 1 we've been told that is kissed. I'll put 60 degrees to be equal to T2 cos 25 degrees. Now, what I'm going to do, I'll leave this one here. Or if I want, I'll find what cos 60 is. So, what is cos 60? 0.5. So, I'll say T1 times 0.5 to be equal to what is cos 25? 0 0.9 0 0.91 so t2 times 0 0.91 now I can at this point I'll just leave it here I'll call this equation 1 because I don't know t1 I don't know t2 ok let's go ahead and also talk about the summation of forces in y direction so I can put this equation just on top here Oh, I'm not supposed to shoot, to push this, but this equation. Okay, let me just rewrite it on top. So we are saying we have T1 times 0 0.5 to be equal to T2 times 0 0.91, like that. So that is my first equation. I will write that as in equation 1. Let's go ahead and also talk about the summation of forces in y direction. So the sum summation of forces in y direction, what force do we have in y direction? In y direction, I've got t, this is, so now, you are following this, guys. This vector is going like this. So this y is also going like that. So I'm following the arrow, so meaning that is pointing to positive y-axis. Same applies to that. The only guy going to the negative y-axis is t3. So T, T1 and T2, they will be pointing, they are pointing upward, they are going to carry positive. So I will say, this is T1. So T1, Y, plus T2, Y, then minus, because T3 is pointing down, minus T3. But according to the rules of um, equilibrium, the summation should be replaced by zero. So this will be zero. T1, it will be T sine theta 1 plus T2 sine theta 2 minus T3, we know it already, we is 325. Shift 325 to the other side, it's basically the same as writing it like this. T1 sine theta 1 is uh, 60 plus T2 sin theta 2 is um, is what? theta 2 is 25 to be equal to 325 what I've done, I've shifted this to the other side, it's going to be negative with that negative will cancel out or you can shift 325 to go to the other side it's basically the same thing now, what is sin 60? <coughs> so sin 60 0 0.87 so I'll say t1 times 0 0.87 plus what is sine 25 sine 25 0 0.422 so I have t2 0 0.4223 to be equal to 3.5. Now, I have got two unknown variables. I'll call this one as equation 2 again. So I can now get rid of this. So 
So what of shifting this? Just want to shift. Okay, it will be impossible, but I can do it like that. I'll put it there. And this one should come back here. Now, <laughs> the remaining thing is to make one t as a subject of phenomena. The first equation I'll call this one as the equation two. The first equation, let's make T1 as a subject of formula. So it will be T1 is equal to T2 times 0 0.91 divided by 0 0.5. So meaning my T1 is um, 0 0.91 times 0 0.5. So this will be 0 0.8 to Meaning, in the second equation where there is T1, replace it with T2 times 1.8. So I'll come here and say, here, where there is T1. So I'll replace that one with T2, 1.82. Okay. Then I put them in brackets, then times 0 0.8, 0 0.87 plus T2, 0 0.4. 3 is equal to 3.5. So now what I'm going to do, I'll say 1.82 times 0 0.87. That is giving me 1 point. It's giving me um, 1.583 for T2. Now plus 0 0.423 T2 to be equal to 3.5. So if we add this, 1.5832 plus 0 0.423. Uh, it's giving me 2. So I have 2 T2 to be equal to 3.25 divided by 2 even here I divide it by 2 so these will go and I'll end up having T2 to be equal to 3.25 divided by 2 that is 162 so 162.5 being my answer 42 so now I want to find the remaining t which is t1 remember we had to make t1 as a subject of formula here just plug in the values using the same common formula so we have t1 so t2 is 162.5 then 1.82 So it will be uh, 162.5 times 1.87. So <clears throat> what are we getting? So now, uh, let me just redo it. We are saying 162.5 times 1.82. 1.82. Two ninety five. Two ninety five point eight newtons. Now I have my T one, I have my T two, and I have my T three. So this is how you can solve this question. Now, this question is very interesting. In the fact that um, you need to understand the concept of uh, static equilibrium because just using the concept of Newton's laws of motion is going to be hard for you, but the way I've explained it, you need to remember two things. Static equilibrium states that the summation of all the forces in x direction is zero, and the summation of forces in y direction is zero. Then start working around with the forces in x first, and also forces in y. Sometimes you're going to come across a, a problem where it requires you just to, to have just one thing without you dismantling them into two. Now here, I had to do this because I might have got t in between. So that's why I had to separate into two. Okay? So that is it for 
the first question which is the most interesting one I think so far okay so now uh, you can also access the remaining questions on our website uh, if you are already registered then it's easy you can just go back on our website then you'll be able to find all the series of the videos for this tutorial sheet and if you want to register with us just go back to our website or check the link in the description you are going to find the website and you'll be able to see our 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 videos so in case you want to get in touch with me you can get in touch with me using this number plus two six zero seven six seven seven two seven two then nine nine then two seven if you're not be able, if you're not going to be able to uh, to register using the link in the description okay thank you